My politics lean to the left. And that being the case, it should come as no surprise that I can point out plenty of absurdity on the right. Of course, I am under no illusions that all absurdity is on the right. We have absurdity on the left as well. Off the top of my head, this notion that 9-11 was an inside job. Ridiculous, of course, but I digress. Now, one thing I try to promote with my channel is critical thinking. And that being the case, I have a playlist about logical fallacies. A logical fallacy is an argument that appears convincing at first glance, but upon examination and critical analysis falls apart. In this playlist, I have tried to use a lot of examples of the fallacies I have delved into, and of course most of these examples are from the right. But I have used at least a few from the left as well. For example, in the video about weasel words, I pointed to overseas contingency operation, which was a weasel word President Obama was using as an alternative to saying war. Another common logical fallacy which I refer to in that playlist is the quote mine, which is what happens when someone's words are taken out of context in such a way as to create the appearance that he or she is saying something fundamentally different. I cited examples of creationists quote mining Charles Darwin and Geraldo Rivera quote mining Carl Sagan. Recently, I saw a video made by liberal viewer in which he called out left-wing pundit Rachel Maddow for quote mining Mitt Romney. He did, in my humble opinion, a very good job of illustrating how the meaning of Romney's words changed when heard in context. I will link this video in the description in case anyone's curious. Now I am told that the absurdity on the left is every bit as bad, every bit as widespread, pervasive, and insidious as on the right. This being the case, one should be able to find on the left just as many examples of each fallacy currently on that playlist. Examples taken from the most prominent figures on the left. So that's what I'm wondering. Just how difficult is it to find logical fallacies on the left? I tend not to find them, but maybe I just tend to overlook them on account of my own liberal biases. How many non sequiturs, ad hominems, false dichotomies, arguments from the gaps, and such, have been committed by the likes of, say, Keith Oberman? in any given month. And please don't just give me claims. Don't just insist they are there. Show me.